All right, still with us is former DENR secretary and environmental advocate Gina Lopez. Now, I wanted to ask, do you agree with the president's decision to close Boracay for six months? Um, I, I'm not uh, privy to all the yeah. details there, no? but what I do agree with is his very strong stand. Because that strong stand, uh, which is manifested by his closing it down, no? um, has spilled over way beyond yes. Boracay, my God. Yes. Like, I'm, I'm de developing Kinatarka now, and everybody say, oh my God, we don't want another Boracay, no? so let's fix the septage. Yeah. I mean, everywhere, it's, it's his strong stand has uh, resulted in a shift in consciousness, Good point. an, an, an yeah. awakening of the importance. And I feel, given that we are a country of 7,000 islands, and for our people to understand that the environment is critical, to economic development and critical to sustainability, uh, it's it's a gift what he's given. It's not going to be forever, and, and after that six months, Boracay is going to boom like no other. Yeah, you, know? you believe that? This is a good <coughs> oh, point. Yeah. Okay, let's talk about the positive because right now all the stories, of course, are you have resorts that are some of them defaulting on their loans. You have resorts saying they're losing a hundred million. You believe? Yeah. Because after you know they're going to clean up Boracay. Boracay is going to rise from that phoenix. From the ashes you know it's gonna be beautiful like no other they'll make it back big time but what's gonna happen they're gonna do it the right way because what if you do it and let them sigh and sign then eventually in few years they'll die then what you know then then are, where are we going what, what the president is saying sustainable growth is critical is important but for me the greatest gift of Boracay he's coming down really strong is the impact it's had on consciousness yeah on consciousness right a week I everywhere yeah. they say, oh my God, fear. you don't want no, yeah, you don't want another Borkas. Now everyone's really, really careful. So actually, the well-being of all our islands has benefited the consciousness of the people. So I, I, I believe in a strong arm approach eh? because uh -oh. it, 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 okay. it has merit. Now you were once the ENR secretary, and how do you solve a problem like Boracay, which is an island tourism resort? No, I wanted to ask you. You know, you get permits from the mayor, the DENR, yeah. you don't know who's in charge, yeah. who says when enough is enough. What's the right way to go, Gina, in building essentially all island resorts in the Philippines? Okay, who so should th have the last say? Uh, actually, this is, well, I'll talk to you first about the paradigm. Yeah. No? So this is connected to uh, what I believe in, in I love, yeah. that the key to development the most profound expression of love for in the development field is area development okay it's where you take the area you nurture it you look at the strengths of the area and you develop it and the for the people of the area okay, okay so look at uh -oh. look at what's floating around in boracay you know how much uh, at its peak and I probably yeah. even before it closed if not more 20 billion pesos yeah. no a year though it gives 56 billion to the government my god yes. 56 billion 56. pesos yeah, yeah, okay go. and then the the original settlers of Boracay they're called culottes okay where are they yeah, you're They're right. somewhere in the mountains. Yeah, yeah. So we're developing this island. Who is benefiting? Yeah. Businessmen. You know, the airlines, whatever. And yeah, I have no problem point. with businessmen yeah, benefiting. Yeah. But when, you, you know, you have 56 billion going in and out there, and the original settlers of the island are somewhere in the mountain, there's something very, very wrong yeah, with that. Yeah. And, and so that... But that's a good point. We, no, no. So the, when the you... The country doesn't think of that. Yeah. So when you, when you d develop the island, uh, when we you yeah, fix yeah. it, the environment, I also hope sincerely whoever is there watching can yeah, you yeah. please listen to me that you key in the systems so the the people that live there have a non-negotiable part of the economic growth yeah. you know like for example um i went to an island in corona and i'm not going to mention the name but on, on the way there my whole family went there and then i talked to the banquero going there and i said para makana bang sweldo mo and then he told me mom 6,000 pesos. And I told him, ilan taon ka na ba dito? And then he said, ma'am, 18 years. 18 years, 6,000? O siguro naman pinapakain ka. O hindi ma'am, yung taga Manila lang may benefits. But that's their island. Yeah. They live there. Now, if you want to charge me 15,000 pesos every two nights, and we, the, we advance to that place in big number, and somebody that's been working for you for 18 years, you can't even feed him. That's that's why I said love is the way. Or or you know I go to um, I went into this other island like really upscale, you know. And then uh, 
and then I, my, our experience, my family and I, that the, the waiters that come from the area, they're the nicest. So why will you hire anyone from Manila pa? Why don't you just yeah, hire yeah. from there? Uh -oh. So that's area development. Good you take point. the area, yeah. and then, or I, I heard in El Nido, sometimes they get their gulay from Iloilo, or, or, um, or um, Baguio or yeah, whatever. Yeah. Why don't you get your gulay from there, the Palawan farmers, area development, so that whatever you do, you create an economic zone and a spillover. Like, that, that's what yeah. I did in... Should um, there be another agency? I want to ask you, uh, okay. Area okay. development. So there's DOT that, of course, uh, takes charge of all the influx of tourists. Yeah. And then there's the ENR, wherein you get a permit, an ECC, etc. But... Yeah. Area development for tourism. I love your concept. Diba? It's, it's holistic. Eh. Yeah. Who's in charge of that, Gina? Because I, right I think now, it should be Neda. Should probably do you this. think? Because but can Neda, Neda is, still do that? No, I don't know. Like who? Because anyway, they want they're... to put up. I want to ask you. They want to put up for Boracay a Boracay. Um, I forget the development the council something or something like that. That yeah. That will oversee, let's say, the local government because mayors tend to grant permits to their friends, yeah. families. Exactly. Exactly. So. How should this, this? That's a good one for me. Area development yeah, for, for me. This and it should have many stakeholders. Now, the key to the success of this council is the principles on which it operates. Okay. What are the principles? No, num number one, we need to nurture and take care of the environment because that's the gold. That's the gold. We shouldn't allow. That's the money. That's where the yeah. money is coming from. So, in the development of the area, in the development of the area, you do not do anything which kills the gold. Rather, we should do things which nurtures and makes the most out of what you have. Like, for example, in Kinatarkan, I went there and I saw this cliff and I said, oh, my God, you see the sky, the sea, yeah, yeah. like that. This is good for romance. Yeah. You know, and this is good for kite fly, uh, kite board, kite boarding or paragliding. So you take each area and you see the potential of the area, and that's what area development yeah. is. But you do it, so we're gonna do it to develop to help the community living there. Yeah. Okay. You've been to Boranca. You know, it's a three-kilometer stretch beach. Yeah. And right now, uh, Who's in the benefiting? yeah, in the six-month closure, Pagor gave a permit for a casino attached i think to leisure resorts and a, a chinese group to be built in boracay although to be fair the denr has voiced out secretary simato said he does not agree with a casino on boracay island what yeah, would be the effect gina of a casino in boracay um I don't know. The, the reason why I don't like casinos <laughs> yeah, yeah. is because I'm all about love. Eh? And then I feel that money isn't everything. And the problem with casinos is everything is focused on money. Money, 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 money. And then hard-earned money, you just waste it like yes. that. Parang, do you really want to teach this kind of values? I think that if, if, we, if we believe in love, you want to create a culture of love and giving and sharing and, you know, yeah, like yeah. that. It's a consciousness. And I don't know if a casino fits into an island economy oh. culture. But ah, that's so, a good one. Huh? Ah, why do you have to be there in nature? I don't know. I mean, not an island economy culture. culture which is all about love and nature. You know, like in... In Sorsogon, the Gubat, I have a okay. career that, that's really gone up the ladder. And there are foreigners that go there every year. Sometimes they stay three months. I, I thought they went there for the surf. You know why they go there? Because of the people. Ah. They like being there. They feel like it's family. Uh -oh. So I think you, you want to develop an island culture yeah. of yeah. love. Because you have a good peace. point. Ha? Yung Boracay, I mean, w I, I, my family's been a part of it. and your family well I'll, I'll tell you later is that you you don't really have the culottes in the culture of yeah. Boracay. in other words if you're a tourist yeah you don't really you don't you don't uh, interact with them they're not part of the tour yeah y you know what I mean they're not they, that, that's their island yeah, nothing it's like yeah. if you're in a resort you don't even see them See, that's really wrong because they should yeah, be a, a non-negotiable yeah and I'll yeah. say non-negotiable that's that's part of area development. This should be a non-negotiable aspect of area development. They must benefit okay. from the economic now, pie. There were nine watersheds in Boracay. My God, four My God. are left. So okay. sad. And I wanted so to sad. ask you: the DENR wants to demolish structures that are on top of the watershed. Yeah. What is your standard? Well, I agree. Watershed is water. 
why are those structures more important than water? Water is life. We're going to have a water shortage in 2030. Th then what? You know, wh where do we, the, the trees give water? You know, it's like, um, it's like uh, Bhutan. Yeah. Bhutan has 97% forest cover. Okay. So they have so much water. They sell it to India, to China. They have $2 billion every year. Really? Free health. Free education, all from very water? little, all from water. But water is life. You know that. That's why, yeah. Why? Yeah. You. I, I. I. Why are those structures? Who? Who? If you have the watershed and you have water and lots of water in Boracay, who benefits? Yeah. Everyone. Yeah. Everyone, including so business. You do agree with the demolition? Yeah. yeah, yeah. You, okay. you put up the structures there. Who's benefiting those structures? If you have water, who benefits? The entire island. If the entire island benefits, who benefits? The national economy. Yeah. Boracay is one of the top island destinations of the planet. What will you do if you have no water? Okay. Now. Another problem the DENR has seen is uh, the squatters, no? Uh, the squatters are not the locals who originally lived there, but apparently they're, of course, from the main island. They go to Boracay, they sell goods. You saw in the report, yeah. mangoes, hats, etc. Yeah. And for some reason, instead of le leaving the resort island at night, because the bankas can't do it, yeah. they've already built homes yeah. in the middle of the island. I don't mean structures. Yes. Yeah. I see. So, and the, the DENR, of course, wants to demolish all the squatter structures, yeah. these are the transients, right. and then let them live in the other island. What, what, what's a solution uh, I, to I that? I have a really good solution to that. Uh -oh. It's like area development. Okay. It's similar to what I say, that if we don't develop the islands, yeah. they're going to come here and live in the Esteros, and they do. Yes. Like if you go into the Esteros, saan kayo galing? Sambuanga, saan kayo galing? Mindanao, saan kayo galing? Cotabato, just ko, bakit uh -oh. kayo nandito? In the same way, who said Boracay is the only thing nice there? Area development is looking at the entire area. Why are we just developing Boracay? Why don't we develop the other islands so they no longer have to go to Boracay? The reason why they're going there is because they can't earn where they are. Now, if we develop where they are, then what happens? We increase the economic zone. They stay there. They earn while they're with their families. And then the, the whole area comes up. You uh -oh. know, the whole country uh -oh. comes up. I mean, Boracay is not the only, that, that, that whole area yeah. is beautiful. Wait. What if no? What if you're asked uh, by the president to be part of the private sector group to to be in the council of Boracay? Will I, I you want, take it? Yeah, yeah. I, I'll help with. I'll help with Isla. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Is so, the president's what? The president what? Sir, I want to go Tawi Tawi. <laughs> he told me before he'd give me an island in Tawi Tawi <laughs> to develop because Tawi Tawi is so beautiful, and yeah, I was yeah. not in favor of industrial yeah, whatever yeah. there. Yeah. All right. Last words, Gina. Do you want to plug it again? So, quest for love. Okay. In closing, I want to say that we should not and we must not be poor. We, we are, you know, Singapore, with, which is smaller than Quezon City and smaller than uh, Subic, has 60 million tourists. Wow. Okay, we have everything. We have much more than Singapore. We have mountains and rivers and streams and volcanoes and corals. We have 7,000 islands. We have 5 million tourists. So I really, really feel that the way for our country to go is to develop the islands, to develop each area in the intention to benefit the people there. So they stop going overseas. Yes. We're funding the country now by OFW money. We're killing the social fabric of our families. And that's how we're funding the country. Yeah. That's not sustainable. Yeah. God has given us everything. I think we should develop our areas for the people living there. And if you believe in this, please come on May 2 if you have anything to offer. And if you if you live in these places, Mindoro, Antique, Tawi Tawi, Tugigara, or you're an NGO there, please go there or just 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 text me just uh, uh, all right on that note well said beautifully Thanks, said Gina Lopez thank you for coming to the show thank you let's get started today